Yesterday, the world entered panic mode yet again, because a once-in-a-lifetime internet disaster just happened for the third time this year. Millions of websites went dark after a massive outage occurred at one of the most relied-upon cloud providers. It wasn't AWS again, it wasn't Microsoft Azure again, but this time it was Cloudflare's turn to go down. The one company that almost every website relies on for DNS hosting, DDoS protection, and CAPTCHAs to prevent bot traffic. The things were so bad yesterday that I wasn't even able to log into ChatGPT or Claude to hallucinate this video script for me. I couldn't log into Twitter to research it, and I had to raw dog thoughts out of my own brain. Even the Cloudflare status page itself was hanging on by a thread, only able to display basic HTML. And I think the only explanation for why it didn't go down is that it must be hosted on Vercel. In today's video, we'll take a look at this latest widespread internet outage and try to find out why the internet keeps falling apart. It is November 19th, 2025, and you're watching The Code Report. The outage started at approximately 6 a.m. Eastern Time, when Cloudflare's global network began experiencing what they call internal service degradation, which is corporate speak for everything is on fire and we don't know why. Within minutes, platforms like X, OpenAI's ChatGPT, and even ironically, Down Detector itself were showing Cloudflare error pages. Even League of Legends players couldn't connect to servers, creating a rare occasion for elite professional gamers to touch grass. But the big question is why did this happen? Was it a supply chain attack, a misconfigured DNS setting again, or a massive widespread conspiracy that was planned by Big Cloud all along. Well, it appears to be none of these. The CTO of Cloudflare said, quote, a latent bug in a service underpinning our bot mitigation capability started to crash after a routine configuration change we made. That cascaded into a broad degradation of our network and other services. This was not an attack. But then, a few hours later, the shocking truth was finally revealed. The root cause of the outage was a configuration file that's automatically generated to manage threat traffic. The file grew beyond an expected size of entries and triggered a crash in the software system that handles traffic for a number of Cloudflare services. In other words, the file designed to protect the internet from threats got so bloated that it did more damage than any hacker has ever done before. There's a whole in-depth blog post with additional details, but this is your daily reminder that the internet isn't a fully distributed neutral playground. It's mostly a bunch of giant centralized infrastructure providers, and when one of them fails, the damage is massive. But if you want to prevent catastrophic failures in your own code base, you need to know about Sentry, the sponsor of today's video. They just launched a new AI code reviewer that catches broken code in all your pull requests before it ever hits production. So whenever you open up a new PR in GitHub, Sentry will automatically scan the diff and leave comments on any bugs it finds with a detailed breakdown of what happened, a suggested fix, and an AI prompt you can copy and paste into the LLM of your choice. Not only does it help catch minor issues like typos and logic errors, but it can also spot deeper problems by using all the context from issues in your application that Sentry is already capturing. Try it out for free during the open beta at sentry.io slash fireship. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.